So in this video we're going to be talking about specific charge and specific charge is a value or a quantity that can be worked out for any particle that has firstly a mass and secondly a charge. So if a particle has these two values here you can work out the specific charge of it and specific charge is defined as the charge that a particle has divided by its mass. So it's a ratio of a particle's charge to its mass. So we'll have a look about have a look at that now. Uh, the specific charge of a particle is its charge divided by its mass. Uh, now it's important that you know that in order for your specific charge to be given in the standard unit for which is coulombs per kilogram, the charge has to be measured in coulombs and the mass has to be measured in kilograms. So if we look at this here before you do this, this is the equation for it, which I've just got up in neat here. You can see that this is coulombs per kilogram, this is coulombs, and this is kilograms. So before you do any calculations, make sure you convert your units, otherwise you will lose the marks. Now the next thing is that you could be asked to find the specific charge of any particle that comes up in this section of the course. And I have got some examples here. So, for example, the first one is finding the specific charge of an electron. So to do this, the first things you need to know are the charge and the mass in coulombs and kilograms. So if I just change my pen colour here. If you look at the data sheet, you'll find that the charge of an electron is equal to minus 1.60 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs. And now if we look at the mass of an electron, it is equal to 9.11 times 10 to the minus 31 kilograms. Now it's important in these calculations that you use the actual masses and the actual charges and not the relative mass and charges. Uh, we talked about this in the last video. Uh, if you're unsure about this, just go back and have a look at that one. It goes over this in a bit more detail. So we've got the charge and we've got the mass. And we can see here the equation is charge divided by mass. So if we do 1.60 times 10 to the minus 19 divided by 9.11 times 10 to the minus 31 what we get as our answer is 1.76 times by 10 to the power of 11 coulombs per kilogram now this is the answer for this specific question here uh, it's also a little side note that the electron actually has the largest specific charge of any particle that we currently know of because it has a relatively high charge and such a tiny mass so when you divide by such a small number you actually get quite a high value for the specific charge I don't think you need to know that it's not stated in the spec anywhere but that is just a little side note so now we move on to this question here which is a bit more difficult there's a few more steps involved it's asking you to find the specific charge of a carbon 12 ion with eight electrons so first let's just look a bit more at what a carbon 12 ion with eight electrons is so you know it's carbon and if you look on the periodic table, you'll know that carbon has six protons. It's a carbon-12 ion, and that's referring to the number of nucleons. It's a carbon-12 isotope, so it must have six neutrons. It has a total of 12 nucleons, and it's telling you it's got eight electrons. So if we could just unpick that from the question. So the next thing we want to do is we want to work out the charge of this this carbon 12 ion so it's got six protons and we know the charge of a proton from the data sheet is positive 1.60 times 10 to the minus 19 and then we want to add that to the charge of the electrons because it contains all of these particles here neutrons don't have any charge so you can not worry about them when it comes to charge and worry about them more when it comes to mass so we're just talking about protons and electrons here. So that's the charge of the protons, and add that to the charge of the electrons to get the overall charge of the ion. So for electrons, it's 8, because there's 8 of them, times by, and now because it's an electron, it's got a minus charge. 10 to the minus 19. Sorry if you can't see that. but So that there will give us the charge, and this actually works out that the charge is equal to I believe it is 
minus 3.20 times by 10 to the minus 19. Now you might have been able to see that just by looking at it because you can see that 6 of these is going to cancel out 6 of these so it's just effectively the charge of 2 electrons. But if you prefer to do it this way then you can do. Now we want to work out the mass of this carbon-12 ion and for this part of the uh, question we can actually forget about electrons because they their mass is so small it's negligible so we don't need to consider it when we're working out the mass and now the mass of this is going to be six protons plus six neutrons you can forget about the fact that they have slightly different masses and just assume that protons and neutrons have the same mass which is 1.67 times by 10 to the minus 27 and that's in kilograms um, what I mentioned a minute ago about is that they have slightly different masses if you want to know more about that that is again from the last video which is an introduction to particles and radiation so you can look at that but for now we're just going to take the data sheet value of 1.67 times 10 to the minus 27 kilograms and because we've got 12 nucleons or 6 and 6 you multiply that by 12 and you come up with an answer of 2.004 times by 10 to the minus 26. So now we've got a charge and we've got a mass. We can work out the specific charge by doing 1.6. Sorry, not 1.6. By doing minus 3.20 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs divided by 1 point done it again sorry about that 2.004 times 10 to the minus 26 and that actually comes out as being I believe where is it I think it is about 1.5968 times 10 to the power of 7 and that is in coulombs per kilogram so that's our value for the uh, and this is a minus here that's our value for the specific charge of a carbon-12 ion with eight electrons. Now I will make this all a bit neater here. There's the specific charge of an electron. As you can see we found the charge and the mass using the data sheet, divided them, and there is the carbon-12 ion with eight electrons. There's, we did the mass first in this example bit here, and then we've got the charge, specific charge, and I just tidied up a bit here. Now there should actually be a little minus in here because there is actually a minus value there. So now I'm going to move on to another little bit about specific charge and that will be the end of this video. So it is completely possible in the exam that they will do something like this and they'll give you the specific charge and they will ask you to find the mass or the charge. So it's basically using the equation for specific charge the other way around. Uh, now to help when faced with questions like this, here's a formula triangle. And if I just grab a pen here, charge is obviously in coulombs, mass is in kilograms, and specific charge is in coulombs per kilogram. So if you use this formula triangle here, the way you use it is you just cover up the one that you want to find. So say you wanted to find the mass, you just cover that up and you've got charge over specific charge. And then you could do other things if you wanted to find charge up here, you'd cover up that and you'd get specific charge times by the mass. And that's actually what we're going to use here for this question. So you can see that they're giving you the specific charge and they're asking you to show by calculation that the total charge of the proton is positive 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19. So how you do this is you look at your data sheet and from the data sheet you can see that the mass of a proton is equal to 
is equal to 1.67 times 10 to the minus 27 kilograms and it's giving you the specific charge here which I'm just going to abbreviate that as 9.58 times 10 to the 7 so you've got your and that is in sorry coulombs per kilogram so you've got your mass and you've got your specific charge and it's asking you to find the charge so you cover up charge and you see that charge equals specific charge times by the mass so it's 1.67 times 10 to the minus 27 times 9.58 times 10 to the 7 and that will actually give you an answer of about 1.59 nine eight six and this will go on for a long time and that will be times 10 to the minus 19 and now you can see that if we round this to three significant figures we will get 1.60 times 10 to the minus 19 and we've done what the questions asked us to do we've shown by calculation using the specific charge equation that the mass is or the charge sorry is equal to positive 1.60 times 10 to the minus 19 this is a positive number because it's not negative and we've done that just by using the equation now one last thing I did just want to mention is that you will not actually be given the specific charge equation if I go back a slide you will not actually be given this equation here on the formula sheet as far as I could see uh, it didn't actually say it anywhere so you will have to remember this equation here it's not too difficult if you just remember the formula triangle here so that is an equation to remember uh, I have actually got a neater version of this one here so there's the neater workings out and it is a positive answer as the protons have a positive charge so that is it for this video. Just to recap, specific charge equals charge divided by mass. You will need to remember it because it isn't on the formula sheet as far as I could see. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I couldn't see that on the formula sheet. You may be asked to find the charge when given the specific charge or mass, or maybe find the mass. You might also be given the specific charge or asked to find the specific charge of an atom or particle that you've never heard of before, but they will give you the data for that if you aren't given it in your exam on the data sheet so don't worry about that because all the data you need will be given to you it's just a case of working out how you've got to use the formula and what values to use uh, one of the main things I will say is just remember to convert the units to kilograms and coulombs but that is it for this video the next video will probably be about stable and unstable nuclei or possibly the alpha scattering experiment done by Rutherford so that's it for this video, thanks for watching.